The experiment is almost complete. All we need now is to inject our secret formula into the vessel of a man, and he should transform into the ultimate weapon for the military. Ah, oh, yes. Finally, world domination. Bring in the vessel. Do I have the right address? Four cheese and a double pepperoni? Sorry, I uh, forgot the dip. Let the experiment begin. Now I just need to administer Chemical X. I don't like needles. Stay away. Wow! Incredible! The experiment went to plan. He is now 500% faster, 500% stronger, and has an IQ of roughly 200, which now makes him unstoppable and the perfect weapon for the military. Wait, what is happening to his face? His face? This doesn't look good. What is happening? This wasn't planned. Oh no, his body is rejecting the transformation. What does this mean? Is it going to ruin our experiment? It means we have to run. What? Oh no, what have I done? I created a monster. <laughs> Everyone out of the way! Move! We have a level one casualty! We don't have much time! I will leave them in your capable hands, Doctor! Nurse Katie! Yes! I need you to supply oxygen immediately! On it! Doctor Whitebeard! Yes! I need you to administer 30 milligrams of morphine! Wow! This is bad! Seriously, what is taking him so long? If he didn't want to go fishing, then he could have just said. Then I wouldn't have wasted my time. Ah! Doctor, we've just got an information from the ambulance team that brought this patient in. The doctors on scene believe it to be some form of a bear attack due to the wounds inflicted. A bear attack? Like a teddy bear? No, like an actual grizzly gar gar bear. Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna give him five more minutes. If he doesn't turn up, I'm gonna give him a left right good night. Dr. Rami, the patient is stable. We have administered all the pain medication available right now. But we will need to tend to his wounds immediately. Okay, I'm on it. Nurse dancing with the axe. Yes. Can you find his emergency contact details and call them immediately? Sure thing. Huh? What is it? Uh, nothing. The patient seems to be fine now. Leave him with me. All right. Those scratch marks. I've never seen anything like that before. I don't know what caused them, but it definitely wasn't a bear. Doctor. Yes? I have the patient's emergency contact number. I'll call them right now. You know what? I'm not waiting for him anymore. Full of bin randy. Huh? Is that my phone? Oh, well, look who it is. Hello? Uh, hello. Who is this? This is Nurse with Axe from Brookhaven Hospital. We need you to come down here immediately. Your friend has found himself in an accident. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm falling for this prank? Ooh, come down to the hospital. Seriously, do I sound like a dum-dum? Sir, this is serious. Your friend has been moved by a girl, girl, bear. Seriously, seriously, wait. Can, can you hold for a second? One second. Uh, I'm just, I'm just looking around for the girl, girl, bear. <laughs> Sir, please. I'm hanging up on you. That is the worst impression I've ever seen. Is he really trying to fool me right now? Trying to convince me that right now he has been mauled by a vicious agar-gar bat? 
<laughs> what a flippin' randy. Am I right, guys? Anyways, you know what? I think he's doing this as an excuse. That's right! I think he's doing it so that he doesn't have to hang out with me. So if I actually go to the hospital and prove that he's not there, then, ladies and gentlemen, I can take a quick selfie of me at the hospital, prove I went there, and then I will prove that he is lying. And it looks like, as you can see, we have just made it into the hospital in time. Hey, horsey! How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, sweet. Why is it all empty in here? Uh, what is going on? Why are you nurses shaking babies around? Is this what nurses get up to in hospitals when no one's around? Excuse me, nurse dances with axe. I believe I spoke to you on the phone about the gurgur bap. <laughs> Yeah, you said that my friend, Clued, had been in a serious accident, but, um, I don't see him, uh, anywhere. Oh, is this the Gurgur Bear? Why, hello there, Gurgur Bear. You look so scary. That is a very large head. Anyways, can you please just prove that he's not here so I can send him a photo and go home? <laughs> prove he's not here? Well, what is this? Wait, what are you talking about? He's... Wait. Clued? Clued, is that you? Keep the volume down, please. Oh, I am so sorry, Doctor. I, I have to be honest. I thought this was a prank. And nurses, please leave the room. Wait, Doctor, what happened? They, they said that he was mauled by a bat? We need to talk. This is serious. Wait, it, it is serious? What is it? Is he really that badly hurt, Doctor? Those scratches right there. I've never seen them before. Wait, what? You mean the scratches on his side? What do you mean you've never seen them before, Doctor? They're just scratches. No, you fool. These are different. Doctor, I don't understand what you're telling me right now. They look completely normal to me. Do you not see where they could have come from? Uh, to be honest, nope. You see, he was supposed to be meeting me earlier today up in the mountains and... Wait a minute. Maybe from the mountains. Wait. Clued! Callie, there's a monster uh, on the loose. Wait, wait, Clued. Oh no, he's falling asleep again. But did he say a monster on the loose? He is very disorientated. He suffered a very, very bad attack. Okay, Doctor, you're, you're probably right. But can I leave him in your capable hands? Please look after my friend. He's one of the only ones that I have. Yes, I will try not to kill him. Okay, you give me a, <laughs> a lot of hope. Anyway, Doctor, I'm getting out of here. I need to go and do some investigating to see what he was talking about when he said a monster is on the loose okay you know what i'm not even gonna go look in there and see what happened <sighs> i still have the whole day left to try and find this monster that's right psst, psst, psst. huh what is that oh no is that the mad scientist are you kidding me? Mad scientist, what can I do for you today? Keep it down. Why? We're literally in the middle of town. I need to talk to you somewhere more private. Oh, uh, okay. L let's go, I guess. What could the mad scientist want to talk to me about that's private? Anyways, it looks like we're heading into the school, which at the minute is closed due to it being a summer break. So, uh, yeah, mad scientist, what was it? So, funny thing, I did a huge oopsie. Oh, come on! Again? Mad scientist! Why can't you just not do experiments for once? The military paid me, and I made a monster. And I made a monster. <laughs> AMS! How many times do I have to tell you? Uglier than my mum. Oh, punk, I will knock those glasses off your face! And let me guess, AMS. You created a killer monster, and you want me to help you take it down. The monster is practically invincible. And yes, you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to take down a monster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, AMS, can you please explain to me while we're here on top of this mountain again? Look at the bot. There was a sighting of an attack here today. Wait. That must have been my friend Clued. He always walks this way on the way to the mountains. So whatever that thing he spoke about earlier, the monster could be around these parts. Wait. Who is this? Uh, wait, let me take a closer look. Wait, that looks like the cowboy that runs this barn. It looks like he's just doing his normal barn work. I guess nothing to worry about, right? Anyways, AMS, I don't know if you're right. Wait, AMS, what is that? There's something eating him. Over there, do you see it? Keep it down. Oh, I'm sorry, but what is that thing? AMS, is this the monster that you created? It literally just ate that farmer. 
in hull. AMS, how are we supposed to take something down that is that powerful? Are you kidding me? Why do you create these things? Oh, don't worry. The only way we can take that thing down is with this. Wait, is that... TNT? You mean we have to blow that thing up? So what you're saying is that we need to plant loads of TNT all over that barn and blow it up? No, idiot. Oh, you didn't have to call me an idiot. It's way too smart. Also, that would be too much money and I'm poor. Okay, so what do we do, idiot? <laughs> we need to lure it into a trap. Idiot. I need eight letters, one car, and a piece of bait. Also, a personal helicopter. Wait, but AMS, sir. Uh, who, who's gonna be the piece of bait? I don't know anyone who's that stupid enough to want to be a piece of bait for a monster. Like, why are you looking at me like that? Okay, AMS. Are you sure this is gonna work, buddy? What? I don't feel too good about this. Hey, buddy! Fancy some fresh meat? Blah, 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 blah. Look at this fresh meat dancing. Oh, biggest. Oh, it's coming. It's coming quick. AMS, go. Go, 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 quick. Oh, oh my goodness. It almost caught us. SCP-096. Okay, the copter is in position. Quickly, AMS. We only have one chance of doing this. Okay, I'm getting out. I'm climbing up. Now, hopefully, this flipping around, he follows me. Oh, my goodness. He's going to grab me. Okay. Oh, he's right there. Oh, okay, I'm up. Now I just have to hope he can make it up the top. Okay, I place it. Let's go. Oh my goodness. And now let's do it. Yes, it worked. Oh my goodness. We literally blew him up. That was so epic. Dark fight down. We need to see if we've managed to take it down for good. Oh my goodness, they're blowing it up just to make sure, but I think, ladies and gentlemen, the plan managed to work. Are you kidding me? That thing, ladies and gentlemen, is definitely finished. Okay, I need to go and check up on Clued and make sure he's all right right now. Strike, Clued! Clu Clued! You're okay! Kelly, we need to run! Wait, what? Why? There's a monster! Oh, wait a minute, Clued. Clued, come with me. We don't need to run, buddy. Trust me. Is this the monster that you were talking about, Clued? By any chance? Uh, no. The one I met was way bigger. Wait, Clued, what are you talking about? What is that sound? Um, guys, I think we just killed its baby. <laughs> yeah, we need to, um, yeah. We need to run! Ah!